Going to bed February 9th, 1973 was just like any other. It was just supposed to be a cold, cloudy morning, but something in the atmosphere happened and we had the biggest snowstorm. That's WGXA's chief photographer Perry Smith remembering waking up the next morning though to find snow falling as far as the eye could see. The historic Great Southeast Snowstorm of 1973 dropped close to a foot and a half of snow in Macon. He says it was the most memorable part of his childhood. I was in the seventh grade. It was, it was snowing so heavily that they didn't know what to do with us. We were all looking out the window in the classroom and we were going like, wow. But, you know, the school buses couldn't drive and it was just snowing so fast. The unprecedented snow shut down travel and society for several days as several decades worth of snow fell in just days, according to the National Weather Service. I-75 was shut down for almost 200 miles with thousands of stranded cars. Every road in Macon was closed at the height of the storm with a curfew and even a state of emergency was issued, according to the National Weather Service. Newspapers from the time really tell the story of how incredible the snowfall was. This one from the Associated Press writing, the storm blanketed much of middle Georgia with snow causing mammoth traffic in Columbus and Macon. And this one from the Gadsden Times titled, what happened to the sunny south, with a picture there in Macon showing the grass and trees covered in the frozen snow. And this is what neighborhoods looked like throughout middle Georgia, covered in snow, truly a once in a lifetime experience. I've been living in Macon for 63 years and I was 13 then. And uh, I've, I've never seen that much snow. In Macon, I'm Ryan Miranda reporting WGXA News.